IMY is my inspiration. IMY to me means a group of resilient women creating change and changing law. IMY is like an organization of young women and gender expansive folks who are reclaiming their narrative. We can actually create policy that will create like a positive change in system involved young women's lives. It doesn't necessarily just focus on incarceration. You could be someone who never been locked up, but you had a loved one that incarcerated. You could be in public housing. You could be in navigating foster care. This is our movement of reclaiming our space and where we come from. IMY started with a workshop in New York. It provided a tool that was a collaboration of everyone from everywhere. Chi-Town, the Bay Area, Boston. You have a portrait and it evolves into this. IMY helped us express ourselves in a vulnerable, authentic way. We reclaim the lens by showcasing what we want people to see about us. For me, I needed to rewrite my narrative because I was fresh out of juvenile hall. This was gonna help my transformation. Ain't nobody else gonna tell our narrative. We gonna tell our own narrative. The I Am Why Reclaiming the Lens book came from not stopping, not saying that the pandemic was gonna be a pause. We actually said, all right, let's do a book then. Let's actually have something in I Am Why that's tangible, that can be the library for the next generation. The I Am Why Reclaiming the Lens book is something we created collectively. We had like very intensive Zoom call meetings where we would discuss like, why recognition? What does that mean to you? It was healthy to me too, because like you having these raw ass conversations, that's rare, but we getting it out. Everyone got responsibility, everyone got a chapter, and everyone was able to pick what was calling to them. Actually defining what I meant made me feel like empowered. We're reclaiming the dominant narrative of what it means to be system involved. We don't want this just to be a book on a shelf. I think it's a tool to, to bring us together. I want to see it in juvenile halls in Boston, New York, Los Angeles. I look at the IMY becoming a, a tool to show women how to navigate the system. We never ever in our lives curated a show, but we wanted to hang our art pieces. I wanted to reach out to my community, our community. Exactly. I wanted like young girls to see these pieces. The Bro. beauty of it is that IMY gave us all the tools we needed yes. to curate the show. I'm excited for my sisters pushing through and making sure that we get the space that we deserve. We chose these specific pieces that talk about what it means to go through a system and make it out. I sort of blacked out my area because I don't want you to see where I came from. I want you to see where I'm going. My piece is a picture of me and my son, and my son is like holding the Ruda flower. It just reflects like our relationship to the land. The butterfly, it's just kin to me because transition doesn't mean just like a physical form, but it can mean something internal. Every time I walk in here, I'm just like, wow, like we did this. Especially through all the hardships we all been through. It feel good to see our work be acknowledged. I can't let another girl go through what I went through because that shit literally broke me. I actually have a duty to the next generation to fight systems of oppression. I hope that it just creates a movement for young girls to come out and be able to do the same thing that we did. I am why women girls need opportunities, not chances. I am why you get through whatever situation. I am why we no longer will be invisible. We speak for ourselves. Mm -hmm.